and hi everybody. Hope everybody's alright. Hope everybody's looking after themselves. Welcome back to Freedom Fighter. This is HMP All Court. Um, operated by G4S. Alcott Prison, Category B Men's and Prison and Young Institute. It's, as I said, it's Category B. Its capacity is 1324 as of the 2016. It opened in 97. It's managed by G4S. This was one of the first prisons basically to go under the private franchise contract in, which was signed in December 95. It was built by Tarmac Constructions and opened in December 97. While well, reports about the management of the prison were favourable, the finance of the project due criticism had to be that the former owner of GLS had managed to make a £10 million windfall from the contract. It was, in 2005 it was reported that Alcourt was the most overcrowded prison in England with 1,324 inmates. In November 2009 the prison owned Institute Monitoring Board published a report which criticised the amount of drugs which were being smuggled into Alcourt. The report suggested that a mobile phone which has also been smuggled into the jail will, which else in fueling the trade. A month later it emerged that inter inmates at Oz Court was being given access to satellite TV as a reward for good behaviour. And this massive... As I said, it's also had a prison officer by the name of Lucy Thornton. She, was, she got uh, dismissed for offence of, uh, of misconduct in the public offices. She was 28 years old, and so basically, what's this? She was. She had been charged with a single account of misconduct in the public office, as a result of a long of a joint investigation between North West Regional Oriel Crime Unit and the MHA Prison Information Services. And it was a government uh, document to set it out in purpose, corruption putting the safety of officers, staff and visitors to the prison at risk, damage the reputation of the organisation, reducing workforce morale and performances and corruption panels in MM. PPS ability to run safely and secure prison probation services and the rehabilitation of offenders. Don't make me laugh. All they're bothered about is the private. So all the about well, is give them, give them, here comes the money. Money, 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 money. As soon as you get into the service with these, it's private, it's G4S. It's money, 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 money. Here comes the money. So that's basically what all this is. That's just an ambulance, guys. That's just yeah. flew past. So it's all about the money. As I said, guys, wait a minute. I'm just trying to tell a second. We're a bit of insight on this. As I said, it is a category B adult male and young offenders institute. It's capacity. It's 1,324 as October 2016. It was opened in 97. It opened by G4S. Wait a minute, G4S is a security company, not a fucking prison service. As I said, it's odd call is a practically B local prison receiving prisoners from the courts in Lancashire, Merseyside, Cheshire and North Wales. 
The prison accepts young offenders and adult male prisoners who are both sentenced to remand by the court. Accommodation to abilities are the public assist accommodation units, a first night centre, three vocal training residential units, an health care unit, the officers full time education and night close to inmates as well as workshop and officer management programme. All court is separated into two main hours by a facility building such as the segregation block, uh, gymnasium, libraries, registration, vigilance halls, education centres and the first night centre. There are seven main wings on the site which are all named after fences of the Grand National steeplechase. Each unit block is colour coded for the set of identification. Each block houses between 60 and 90 prisoners. Beaches Detainees held on remand or short term sentence. Canal. Detainees on a medium to long sentence for detainees facing behaviour problems who cannot also benefit from a more restrictive regime. Mellings. Vulnerable pr prisoners. Sex offenders. Convicts, former police officers and police then you've got valentines which is that they need holding medium long sentences and partaking in virtual training schemes the young offenders are housed amongst adult prisoners with the exception of runnels tone they'll put all these links underneath for you anyway guys this looks what like works department doesn't it deliveries Just following prison wall guys um, we're at HMP All Court today, uh, which is a category B um, men's prison and a young offenders institution. Uh, so you've got adults in there and young um, teenage um, children. Um, what tends to happen is uh, if you're a young age, um, before the age of 18, uh, 17, 16, 17, around that age, they tend to put uh, kids that have committed uh, offences into children's homes, um, which used to be uh, known as burstals, uh, barstals um, at one time. Um, but what seems to be happening here in uh, the UK is all our prisons are seem to be going on over the or under the private sector, like companies like Serco and G4S and them type of companies. But if you look into their history, they actually are not possibly physically trained as prison officers. They're actually security guards, and they're putting security guards in with prisoners. And the pro the, the the problem around that is because they're not trained in how to deal with suicides and all that lot they actually uh, make the prisoners actually and prisons more worse not just that though it's basically also basically once you're in the system with these all they're bothered about is keeping you on the books yeah they'll love you to reoffend because all, because you know what it's all about the money the money the money the money yeah and you listen to what some of the guys on youtube who's be, who knows more about stuff like this and they'll tell you Oh, that's all it's about these days. As soon as you're in the system, they don't give about two fucks about you. Game rehabilitation and getting the help you need. It's go and commit another crime. You're back in the system. More money. Do it again. More money. That's all they're bad about. It's uh, when it's supposed to be about helping you return and get you back onto the straight and narrow. But look at this guys, this is throughout the prison walls of a private prison. 
compared to what a Majesty's Street prison. You actually see that the different fences. So wait a minute, I am seeing on here a drone sign like the one I was on the NHS prison. Have you seen any drone signs? There's some up here. There's one, there's one there. Look at the walls, they're not as even as size. That officer. There you go, there's one just there. One just there. Dog patrol area, this. Dog patrol area. Yeah. Of course you've got um, section 33, Criminal Justice Act, if it's actually open uh, and the public can actually gain access to it, uh, you're allowed to actually walk on it guys and they can't do a thing about it and if prisons are actually bothered about it they could actually just put fences up and with locks and then you can't gain access. Same as uh, when you're doing any um, public recording as long as you can uh, get on it you'll have a right to film it because technically it's public ground and it comes under the bylaws of the uh, right to roam um, of the uh, Magna Carta and if you've read the uh, Magna Carta um, we're supposed to be all three um, citizens in uh, the UK but then again they're still trying to take us freedoms off us um, every day for putting prisons into private sector hands and, and not helping you when you're actually most vulnerable just imagine this is a, a prison guys how many vulnerable people could actually be in there. Behind these walls. Yeah, behind the walls. Imagine how many prisoners it'll be. It'll have uh, mental health problems. And you think to yourself, wait a minute, they've got mental health problems. But they're behind bars in prisons like this with uh, staff that aren't trained to, de to deal with them. Why can't them people go into places like Ashworth and that type of thing? Well, they, should be, yeah, when, they, should, they should be a prison, especially done for them sort of people with the staff. But it comes down to the end of your finger. It costs us money. Yeah. Private sectors like this, I was already just told I don't give a hook about anybody apart from making it for themselves. You're in the system now. Good for me. Good for my business. I make money from you. Wait a minute, you're not getting any help. You're not getting any support. You're not getting any thing so what do you do you've got no you've got no life basically so you end up going back into sh to places like this no money in the fat cat pockets wait a minute where's your help where's your support only by a bit where's your what you need to get you onto the street and never so you can change your lives wait a minute there's only talks about get doing it for you, which is wrong. No yeah. support. You've you come to the fork in the road and you've took the wrong, you took the wrong road. But there should be support for you, so you can get back onto this straight and narrow, so you can change your life. It's easy if you get the support to do it. But it all comes down to one thing only. The government and places like this, all private companies, 
I've only bothered about one thing and one thing only. Money, money, money. The trouble is though, what about our support? They say that 90% of prisoners have a mental health problem. But you, yeah, because basically they're not getting support they need. That's the trouble they don't say. But it all comes down to money. Oh, it's all money, this and all money, that. But wait a minute. We'll raise that, we'll raise the poll tax. We'll raise the taxes. We'll raise this, we'll raise that, we'll raise other. But wait a minute, where's the money going? Wait a minute. Private sector for prisons like this. Yeah. Especially then, then you're in the system. Oh, wait a minute. You're not going to get your help and support. You, you're in the system. Now, they're, they're moving their hands. Oh, good. I, fat cats make more money. Wait a minute, can I have some help? Nope, you're not having no help. But yet they say they're doing all these programs for you. Are they, do they actually do these programs? Are you banged up in a cell? Are you banged up in a cell? Wait a minute, you want, you might have a mental, a, a mental health problem. Wait a minute, so where's your help? Nine out of ten, they get that bad, they end up committing suicide in, in prisons. Oh, going on to dr drugs. Going on to drugs. Spice. Well, wait a minute, spice. Well, wait a minute, that person who went to, who first went into a prison like this, were clean. Just had medical, mental health problems. And they come Cause out you can't, rattling. Because yeah. you can't jump through them barriers. Them they barriers, can't uh, they can't jump through those steps in life that, that they're expecting people to actually jump through. Not everybody can jump through them. And there's no guidance, there's no support. Wait a minute, yeah, that's the trouble is. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, you've, 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 done, you've, you've been a naughty person. Wait a minute. Let's go and let's support you and get you back onto the, the straight and narrow. Like the, they're making millions in this place, even billions. The trouble is though, you're not getting, you, do, you don't get the support, you don't get the help, or anything like that, what you need. You need well, it's, time, it's time the government Stop thinking about the cells and start putting the people who voted them first. Don't forget, we vote them into, play, into them seats in the House of the Commons. We vote your councillors. This time you start to start to wait Stop entrance. Yeah. That's yeah. right, wait a minute. We put you there to do us a job. So stop. Get in. Money for doing naff all. Start getting money for doing stuff for the people. We'll put you, we'll vote you in them seats. And if you can't do it, leave. Give it somebody who can do the job. Instead of just sitting there and thinking, oh, I'm making millions on pay packets for doing naff all. Get things back under the, the people's instead of it being under under privatisation. Bring it back under the people's things. So the council start by start getting his amenities back as bins, as roads, etc. etc. And take them back under one roof instead of privatising them out. This is visitors centre here. Yeah. Just fancy. Well we come from Halifax, our bin company is privatised. The trolleys though, they do recycling. So 
privatised company, you put in your bags of recycler out, your cans, your bottles, your paper, which gets sold. So who we'll makes we'll get some money? Stars. The fat cats. Wait a minute, good on the council. The crime is the cream for money. Wait a minute, that money goes back into public services, mm. the public purse. It's simple. It's not hard, it's not rocket science. Alright guys, like, comment and subscribe.